Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert, and today I'm bringing to the full drop list for this week, which is going to be week 12 of the fall winter season. This week we've got a collaboration alongside a number of other items. Uh, the collaboration has only realistically just gone live, so we get to go through and look at that and take a look at the rest of the week, because I actually haven't looked at anything realistically. I haven't really been focusing on a lot as of late, because um, tomorrow's my birthday, and I've kind of tried just to like brush it off, <laughs> as bad as it is to say. Um, it's just one of those things, but yeah, it's it's just going to be on my mind, I think, because it's just it's in the middle of the week as well, which is difficult, but yeah. So I'm glad that the list is out today, so I'm not recording this tomorrow, but yeah, uh, nothing else to say. Just let me know whether or not your items from last week have arrived or not, and that is about it. Let's just jump straight into this. Okay, it's also reached that time of year where I've actually got to have like my light on, uh, because the outdoor light, is it's great, it's amazing, but at the same time, it's absolutely blinding, like one part, I'm like two-faced, one part was like overbearingly bright and the other side was just nothing. So yeah, with that being said, let's just jump straight into this uh, drop list because obviously as you see, a number of the top items are going to be from the Bless collaboration for this week and we're going to be kicking things off with the crew neck which just says Bless Supreme. It looks embroidered, seems like it, it's very simple. Uh, I don't know why there's a little... Um, there's a little like metal pin or bit here. Don't know what that's about, but it's fine. We'll move on from it. I think that overall, it's perfectly fine, simple and easy. So yeah, there's nothing that you can really fault it with at the end of the day. And that's probably why people like it. We've then got the Pentel Presto uh, correction pen. Everyone's used one of these, mainly at school, you used it. Uh, you might use it at home, I don't know. Uh, you might have also tried when you were younger to like possibly like colour uh, your sneakers or shoes or whatever with it and it didn't really work, it ended up cracking and falling off and it was just a waste as an overall and then you had to find a way to be like, oh, the uh, thing actually broke, you know? It's not that it's out of ink, it's just broken. So, yeah, uh, hopefully it's like five to ten dollars, something like that. Five to ten pounds would be great uh, if they drop it in the EU or other regions, we'll have to wait and see, because typically a lot of these accessories just don't drop uh, for the rest of us. So yeah, we've then got the repeat balaclava coming up next. Uh, balaclavas have been a bit hit and miss, but I feel like these will do fine. Colorways, I think across the board are great. Uh, probably more so towards the darker tones, might be a bit better, like the black, the navy, and the green. But saying that, the most popular color with Supreme is obviously the red and white, so it could be a surprise one, you never know. We've then got the Blessed Tapestry Down Puffer Jacket uh, dropping next, or is going to be the next piece on the list. Uh, quite a lot going on with it, I will be perfectly honest, there's a lot going on. It's got the Blessed Supreme going across the back as well, where you can see it also, you know, named a few times. Uh, I think that's quite cool. I like how uh, the spell out is sort of used on the back. I like that it's not just a white sort of outline or uh, embroidery that is going around to spell out. It's actually got a different graphic on the inside to give it a bit more, you know, like of a difference and it stands out a little bit more as of that. Obviously it still blends in because the colors and tones are the same, but that's just one of those things. I do think it is quite cool though. I think it's very unique. Uh, as far as, you know, puff jackets go, it's definitely up there in terms of how unique how wearable is it i don't know that would depend on other people's opinions my dress and fashion like star sense is horrendous so don't like quote me for anything next up we have the mofi beaded charging cable which i've never seen uh, a charging cable like this before what does it say going down it window something something if you don't throw the f the the money out of the window it won't I don't know what the word is they begin with R because it's blocked off something through the door bless supreme yeah okay <laughs> it's obviously part of the bless collab as well I know that Mophie obviously do a charging cable but I've never seen like a beaded one uh, before Typically, they're not even that cheap from Mophie either. They're like £20 or so, so I'd be surprised to see what Supreme are actually going to charge for this. It'll be interesting. Following on from that, we've got the Shop Small Box hoodie. Wasn't this meant to drop last week? I guess it's dropping this week. Uh, related to the stores, as I said, it's cool. It's different. Personally, it's going to be like the blue, the purple-ish tone, the grey, uh, and the olive. 
and yeah, that's about it for me personally, like I said last time. Uh, we've then got the Corduroy S Logo 6 panel dropping this week. I do like a couple of the colorways for this, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the pink is a nice standout tone, but I definitely still think that like the black, the blue, and the green are more so highlight uh, colorways out of it. Uh, from there, we've got the Bless Observed in a Dream Tea, which has got quite a lot going on, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what the graphic is. It's got the whole phrase, is that a thing to do with Bless? Someone can let me know, because I do not know, so not gonna act like I do. Uh, from there, we just go into items that have quite a few more dislikes than likes. I mean, it's a bit hit and miss, but you get what I mean. Uh, we're starting off with the high density cotton field jacket, which is going to be the hell piece for one of the colorways, uh, and then the other is just a navy tone. I still like the whole like hell shell uh, thing that they've got going on with it. I think it's just still a cool concept. I don't know how it's going to be received with this uh, specifically, but you know, it's just one of those pieces. We've then got the Bless Reflexology Skateboard. Uh, very simple. Bless. If that was actual material on it, that'd be quite cool, but probably not. Uh, we've got the Rose Rugby Top or Rugby Jersey. I don't know what they refer to them as nowadays. These have been going down quite well. I just don't know how this one specifically will do. Personally, something draws me to like this brown and pink colorway, but at the same time, I don't know. It might take a big push for it to uh, go in a fast sort of time frame or fast like fashion overall. Uh, we've then got the Bless Sweatpant Jean. Sweatpant Jean? No, sorry, no, no, not for me. Uh, for the last couple of items, we've got the uh, lined flannel snap shirt. I think it's perfectly fine. I like the front colorway. Blue colorway is okay, but I think for this time of year, the front brown be better. The featherweight down puffer jacket. I like the more unique tone in this piece. That's just how I personally feel when I first saw it from the lookbook. The snap off baggy jean is okay. The warm up pant is a standard sort of piece. It's just got different colorways as per norm. Same for the featherweight. I just feel the exact same of the red. You know, being the different colorway, it's just the best in both the trooper and the mittens. And for the last piece, we have the god beanie. Probably prefer the black, brown, and the like royal sort of tone in the end. And yeah, that's about it. So as per norm, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, what you're going to be going for, what you like, what you dislike, what you think of the blessed collaboration as an overall. And yeah, that about covers it from me. Obviously, let me know if you've hit anything recently, won any raffles or anything. There are a couple coming up uh, this month, or quite a couple for dunks this month. Uh, am I going to hit? Probably not. But yeah, uh, that's going to cover it for me. So I do hope that you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.